Hello everyone. In this unit, solving the volume of a solid of revolution can be solved by the circular ring method or the washer method. If we consider the x and y axis and we have a curve y is equal to the function of x and a line y is equal to b prime the point of intersection will be at 0 0 another one will be at a prime b prime and the other point of intersection will be at a b if we consider revolving about the x-axis the first quadrant area bounded by these curves we can solve the solid of revolution generated by introducing a vertical element whose width is dx. yh and yl will be the radii of the solid of revolution form. yh will be considered to be the distance of the higher or the upper part of the element down to the x-axis. We will consider yh to be the outer radius. yl is the distance of the y from the lower part of the element down to the x-axis. We will consider yl to be the inner radius. Considering the element that we had introduced and if this element is rotated or is revolved about the x-axis we will be forming a solid of revolution called a circular ring the circular rings thickness will be the x whose outer radius is equivalent to yh and whose inner radius is equivalent to yl. Solving the volume of the circular ring or the circular washer is the differential volume equivalent to pi times the quantity square of yh minus the square of yl times dx. Integrating, we get v is equal to pi times the integral of the quantity yh squared minus yl squared times dx. The lower limit is at 0 taken from the x-coordinate of the origin and the upper limit is the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of the line and the curve y is equal to function of x which is a prime. Remember that if the element is perpendicular to the axis of revolution However, it does not touch the axis of revolution, a circular ring is formed. This method of solving the volume of a solid of revolution is called the circular ring method. Let us solve the volume generated by revolving about the y-axis the first quadrant area bounded by the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax, the x-axis, and the line x is equal to a. If the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax intersects with the line x is equal to a, the first quadrant area form is bounded by the parabola, the line, and the x-axis. 
the points of intersection will be at 0, 0, A and 0, and another will be at A and to A. If we wanted to rotate or revolve this first quadrant area about the y-axis, we can solve the solid of revolution generated by introducing a horizontal element. A horizontal element whose thickness is dy and whose xr is the outer radius and the xl is the inner radius. If this horizontal element is perpendicular and it does not touch the axis of revolution, then this will be generating a circular ring. The differential volume of the circular ring is pi times the square of xr minus the square of xl times dy. Integrating, we get v is equal to pi times the integral of the quantity a squared. a squared is taken from xr xr is the line x is equal to a minus xl squared xl squared is y squared over 4a y squared over 4a is taken from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax and we multiply dy the lower limit of the integral is the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the line x is equal to a and the x-axis, which is 0. The upper limit is the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the line x is equal to a and the parabola y-squared is equal to 4ax. The y-coordinate is 2a. Evaluating this integral gives the volume of the solid of revolution generated equivalent to 8 over 5 pi a cube cubic units. Find the volume generated by revolving about the line x is equal to a, the first quadrant area bounded by the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax, the y-axis and the line y is equal to 2a. Sketching, we get the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. We have the line y is equal to 2a and the points of intersection at 0, 0, at 0, 2a and at a, 2a. If the bounded area by these curves will be generated about the line x is equal to a, x is equal to a becomes the axis of revolution. Considering the area that we wanted to generate about the line x is equal to a, we can solve the volume generated by introducing a horizontal element whose thickness will still be dy with an xr and an xl. Let us analyze the outer radius and the inner radius. The outer radius, basing it from the axis of revolution x is equal to a, is equal to a minus xl. a is the line x is equal to a and xl is the y-axis making x equal to 0. So RO, or the outer radius, is equal to A minus 0, making the outer radius RO equal to A. For the inner radius, the inner radius of the circular ring form is equal to A minus XR. A is the line X is equal to 2A, and XR will be taken from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. Substituting the values, we get ri is equal 
to a minus y squared over 4a. To take the volume of the circular ring that is formed, we solve dv. dv is equal to pi times the square of the outer radius minus the square of the inner radius times dy. Let us just recall that if the element is perpendicular and it does not touch the axis of revolution, a circular ring is formed. So integrating the differential equation at the same time substituting the value of RO and RI, we get this equation. And if we evaluate the whole integral, we now can solve the volume of the area revolved or generated along the line x is equal to a. The volume solved will be equal to 14 over 15 pi a cube cubic units.